Hello and welcome to this video where we'll show you how you create a sprint button. We could place it at the right side here and then when you click it, your character is going to sprint instead of just run slowly as they normally do. And we will of course make it so you can toggle it. So when you don't want to sprint anymore, you just run normal. So the first thing I will do is over in our starter GUI, you might already have a screen GUI, but I will go and add a screen GUI. And then inside that, I want to go and add a frame. And you don't really have to do this yourself. It's just to make a frame so that I can make a button inside to make it align over in the right side of our screen. But if you already have a layout, then use that. I'll just go and adjust the size here. So set it to one instead of 100 here and one instead of 100. So it will fill all the screen and then we want to go and make it transparent. So this background transparency, just set it to one. Then we'll go and add a image button and it's actually that image button. I will go and rename. I'll just call it sprint button instead. And then before we add some coding to it, I'll just go and adjust the size here. So make it 40. So it's just a small icon. And then I will paste in the image that I want to use. So it's really just an image I found on Roblox. You can use your own image for this. Then I want to go and make a border so that we can see if it's turned on or if it's turned off. You could also do it in another way, but I'll just go and make a border that is five pixels. And then I will go and choose a blue background and also a blue background for the border. And finally, I'll go and adjust the position. So I'll put it over at the right side and then just a little bit down here. So it will just be there on the screen. So the final thing we have to do is actually just go and make a script that is going to make it work. So just hit the plus icon and remember to make it a local script so you don't affect any other player than your own. We then want to go and put the button inside a local variable. So it is actually just the script's parent that we're going to put in the, in this button variable. We will also go and get the player. Oh, in this case, it's actually just the service called players. So it is all the players, but we will go and get the actual player inside the script. And then we want to go and say that the sprinting should be false. So it's just a variable that we set uh, that we say that at the beginning here, there should be no sprinting. It is turned off. But then just go and make some more space here and then go and put a click event listener on the button. So we take the button, say dot mouse button one click so basically just if we click the button then go and connect to this function called sprint that we want to create and this is the way we're going to create the sprint function just say local function then the name we call it sprint and then some parentheses it will not not take any parameters and remember to end it so the first variable here is just to get the actual player so we say that the player inside our players service we want to go and get our local player and let's save it in a variable called player. So that is the actual player we are playing. And then the next thing we actually want to go and do is to check if we are sprinting. So if we are already sprinting, we need to do something else. We need to go and say that it should sprint. So as you can see here in the beginning, it is set to false. So this will not execute because sprinting is false. So it will go down to this. So let's just start with that one. We first of all want to set our variable to true so that we are sprinting now. It really doesn't affect the game, but it's just to keep track on what we are doing in the code. I will then go and set the border color on our button and just to white. This is just the way you put it to white with some hex decimal. So the value of white is just if, 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 if. And finally, we want to go and adjust the walk speed on our character or actually on our character's humanoid. So we will go and say, our, take our player and say we want to go into the character of the player. And from there on, we have a attribute called humanoid that we can go into. And inside our humanoid, there is the walk speed. And in this case, we just set it to 40. You can set it to everything that you want, but this is actually it for this else statement. So let's go into the if, st if statement. If we are sprinting already, then we want to go and set it to false and just set the walk speed a bit down again. So as you can see here, it is basically the same. We just, just adjust some values. So the sprinting is set to false. 
and then we're gonna put the order color to the blue again as i said it and then we want to take the walk speed to something more slowly and normal again so that should actually be it let's go and test it so we do have our button over here and let's try to run now you can see we run normal now but if i click this one you can see we are actually going to sprint and then we should also be able to toggle it off again and we can do that so that's actually how you make a sprinting button inside roblox studio so thank you for watching and go and have a nice day. Bye.